hey guys so it's barbie bossy collection and i'm back with another video um i just got to work as you all know i do work night shift as a cna um at a florida hospital um right now i'm just preparing some patient bags i just got in typically the first thing i do is get report from the day shift cna um and what that means is basically they tell me about each individual patient um, you know, how that patient walks, if that patient's here for seizures or maybe they had a stroke or, you know, whatever case may be for why they're here in the hospital. They tell me all the details about that so that I'll have a leg up and knowing, you know, what I'm walking into. Um, I'm assigned to nine patients tonight, but right now I only have seven. So I have to get these bags ready. I'm currently in the med room slash supply room right now. So I'm going to get these bags ready and then I'll check back in with you guys a little later. Each one comes with a cup, a Kleenex, socks, a blood pressure cuff, toothpaste, mouthwash, shampoo and body wash, and a thermometer. So my assignment just got changed. Um, instead of having nine patients, I now have 12. Um, and right now, I'm getting ready to go around and check everybody's vital signs. And then I'm gonna do my blood sugar checks for my patients who have blood sugar um issue so guys i'm just going to show you the computer that i use to chart my vital signs and um, update all the patient information including how many times they use the restroom you know what they ate um and things like that here's my computer and this is the little phone that i have like in case the nurse or somebody on the unit needs to contact me to tell me something very important so I'm going to go back to taking care of the patients and I'll check back in with you guys later. This is where we keep all the warm wipes for the patients. Um, if we have to use them a bag, this is what we use to do that. Um, of course, if we have to get them ready for surgery, we can use these. Um, these are for patients that are incontinent meaning they can't control their urine or their poop. This is a sound pack. If a patient wants to wash or their scalp cleanse. And this is what we use for Foley care. If they have a catheter, we have to do the Foley care. Once a shift, there's warm blankets. Those are always kept warm. And then this is, sorry. This is where we keep all the washcloths, towels, gowns, fitted sheet, flat sheet, pillowcase. And we also keep some other equipment in here, like the bladder scanner, the Dynamap. This is what we use when we check the patient's blood pressure, temperature, pulse rate, and oxygen level. This is a Seraflex. It helps the patients, like if they can't fully walk on their own, helps them stand. And then this is the bedside commode. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's almost two o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm just gonna go over a few things that I do while I'm at work. Um, I sometimes do EKGs. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like taking um, images of the heartbeat. Um, those are usually ordered by the doctor, um, but the nurse will tell you when, um, or tells me when I have to do it. I also do blood draws, urine samples, stool samples, vital signs. Um, I have to do those twice a shift, once in the evening when I first get here. 
between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. and once in the morning um, before 5 a.m. Um, sometimes I walk the patients. Sometimes I have to be a sitter. Um, and I pass water. Sometimes I remove IVs. And if they're fall risk patients, like for instance, if they've had a stroke or if they're on seizure precautions, um, I have to put the bed alarm on, which basically lets me know when they get out of bed. So right now I'm about to prepare my biohazard bags for my blood draws. So I'm gonna show you guys what goes inside that bag next. Okay, so this pile would be used um, for the nurse if they are wanting to collect the patient's blood from the, the IV line, a central line, or midline. This is the blood collection tool, the vacutainer, and then there's three flushes, which are sodium chloride solutions and a tourniquet. And this is the pile that I use whenever I'm going to actually draw the blood, I use uh, alcohol wipes, gauze, tourniquet, the blood collection tube, the butterfly needle, and the band-aid. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the bags for my patients because I have quite a few blood draws to do and I'll check back in with you guys later. So a little bit about me, I've been in this field since 2017 and I don't see myself doing anything else. I absolutely love what I do. I love taking care of patients. I love being there for them in their most vulnerable state. My goal is to someday be a mother baby nurse. I feel that when women bring children in this world, that is like the most vulnerable time in a woman's life. And I wanna be able to be there to support them, the before, the during, and the after. So that is one of my ultimate goals, um, to be a mother baby nurse. I do plan to pursue my education and eventually become a nurse educator once I do become a nurse. After I do it for a while and I learn what I need to learn, I would like to teach nursing students and then when my kids get grown and on their own, I would like to do travel nursing. I currently work on the medical neurology oncology floor. So I see a lot of patients who have had strokes or any type of trauma to their brain. Like even if they've hit their head or, you know, something has happened to their head or to their brain. Um, that's the floor that I will work on. And oncology is cancer. So we do see chemo patients and patients who have um, cancer treatments. Sometimes they come once a month or sometimes they come here for their first in initial visit. So it just depends on the situation, but I absolutely love what I do. I know that in this field, we are so needed and sometimes we're underappreciated and undervalued. But at the end of the day, if I know that I did something to help someone and to do my best to make them feel better, when I go home, I'm complete just knowing that I put my best foot forward and it mattered to someone. Um, that's the kind of thing that keeps me going. I love it here. So I made it through the night. Um, I'm about ready. It is 6.30 a.m. I'm about ready to give report to the new CNA for the day. Um, and then I am going to head home. So my night is over, my shift has ended. Um, I work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I am extremely exhausted, if I'm gonna be honest. My body's tired, my mind is tired, my eyes are tired, my legs are tired, everything's tired. 
um but i do plan to make videos at least once a week so if you'd like to see more videos of me at work um like day in the life videos or if you want to see different content just let me know i'm open to recording more things more topics um thanks again for watching please like 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 comment and subscribe to this video um, so i can know that you liked it and um that also helps my channel gain more people that may be going through the same thing but um you know or wanting to become a cna and just kind of want to see what it's like and things like that so when you subscribe to my channel it really helps me and i definitely do appreciate it thank you